Hey my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. Um, I want to say thank you, a big thank you for supporting my channel and helping it grow guys. I really, really, really love you guys. Um, and I also want to welcome my new subscribers as well. Thank you for being here. Um, so anyway, I'm going to explain this reading as, as best I can. <laughs> um, so what this is, is your past life with a karmic soulmate. Okay, because we have many, many uh, lifetimes with this karmic soulmate. And sometimes we don't learn those lessons to break that karmic cycle. So I'm going to look at who you were to this person, what the relationship was between both of you. And then I'm going to have a look of who is this person to you today. Okay, and see what you can do to break the karmic cycle. You know, so anyway, I hope I explained that. So for group one, we've got um this lovely little fairy it's amethyst you can see that so that's for group one for group two we have ruby the ruby fairy and for group three we have aquamarine so anyway um yeah choose your poles and i'll see you there Hey group one, so if you chose the Amethyst Fairy, this is your reading. So let's have a look who who you were to each other in your past lives. So we have, there is going to be a bit of a glare guys, um, and I do apologise. So we have farm, we have leaving or travel, and vows. Okay, so with these three cards here, what I'm picking up with your past life, you may have been married to this person. It may have been, um, I don't know why I'm, that's what I'm picking up with this. <laughs> Some of you may have um, taken a vow to the church in your past life, you know, become a nun, that kind of thing. But what I'm mainly picking up here is that you, we, you may have been married to this person you may have actually owned a farm with this person, so maybe you guys were farmers, but somebody left. So whoever this is to you, they left you. So it could have been maybe that's why you went into a nunnery. Let's have a look. Let's put your fairy over there. Interesting. Okay. So tell me about more about the relationship between um, Par One and this karmic soulmate, please, Spirit. That was the tower. Okay. Um, and I know I say okay a lot, but it's just a habit, okay? So don't, I just said okay. <laughs> Freaking hell, I'm irritating myself. <laughs> oh, anyways. Never mind. Seven of Wands. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, look, you, you built something together here, both of you. I feel like with you two, with this karmic soulmate of yours, group one, we've got the five of swords on the back of the deck. So what I'm seeing here, you built something with this karmic soulmate. But what had happened was you worked really well together, but... The foundation upon which you built your life wasn't solid, okay? Somebody wasn't fully in the relationship. They wasn't fully committed. And this leaving energy, I feel like it is the tower here where somebody did something so drastic that it was a shock. And everything that you'd worked for, everything you'd put into this connection and, and this home, this farm, it all fell apart. And what is really sad here with the Seven of Wands, you were left alone to do it alone. You know, in the olden days, in the olden days, um, back in the day, most women turned to the church, you know, turned to becoming a nun because that's where they felt safe. You know, in those those days, we relied on our partner to, you know, support us. That's how it was, you know, hundreds of years ago. 
So this is what I feel like may have happened. You may have had to take a vow somewhere else because you couldn't cope on your own. And whoever did this to you, I feel like they, they may have just up and left here without even telling you they did this suddenly here because we do have the towel, we do have the eight of wands. And in this relationship as well, there may have been abuse, there may have been um, bullying, um, it may have caused you physical pain. I do want to clarify that. You may have experienced theft as well. You know what it was like in them days with farms. People would come and steal sheep and, you know, that cat, you know, your cattle. But anyway, let's have a look. Tell me about the Five of Swords. So we've got the Nine of Wands in reverse, the Nine of Swords in reverse, the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, and the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Now that, that says a lot right there. Whoever this was that was, who was mistreating you in your past life, okay, they were very, very stubborn. They wouldn't give in, they wouldn't listen, they wouldn't, you know, and it was like you just, you just gave up. It was like you just let this person do whatever it was that they wanted to do to you or to the farm or whatever it was here that you two had going on because you see it as what was the point because like i said back in the day women didn't have a voice they didn't women were treated really badly in the old days okay you married someone here that lacked any common sense they were a bit, um, they were very reckless here. They made a poor judgment here and things went south, you know. It, whatever they did ruined what you built together here. And instead of staying with you and um, picking up the pieces, I'm even seeing that they, they may have been the one that was stealing from, say, another farm, you know, and they may have got caught, and that's why they done a runner, and they left you to pick up the pieces here, because we do have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, and this does speak of unfortunate events and bad luck. Um, everything is, like, up in the air. So what I'm getting from this reading for you, group one, this person abandoned you and left you to left you to pick up the pieces. Oh, before I go move on to what you guys are now, just I just want to be nosy. Tell me about this Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Let me do that again. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. <coughs> Because this is a sh this is actually showing the characteristics of this karmic soulmate. Talk about the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. It's Ten of Pentacles. Tell me more. I feel like I, um like I said, they everything you worked for, you built up, should have been left to your children here. Um. You know generational wealth but what has happened here is this energy here has um done something really stupid that brought about unfortunate events here that it may have been um that they lost all this generational wealth here so they may have even gambled it away you know i, I can't see it all here but what i'm seeing here is they lost everything here and they and instead of staying with you and trying to put it back together they ran 
you know we've got deaf here they ran they left you on your own they 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 moved on here with death. Yeah, they caused conflict here and off they went on the merry old way. So let's see about now in this lifetime. So hang on. Um, So tell me now, please, Spirit, who is this karmic soulmate to group one today? Who is this karmic soulmate to group one today? I'm just picking up a big abandonment. Um, being abandoned, not having a voice bullying in the relationship and when things get tough this energy runs off so this may be someone you know now like today okay so tell me who is this karmic soulmate to group one now ace of swords the lovers this okay there you go thank you spirit so this like I said, was a partner, uh, you know, you either could have been married to this person, you still could even be married to this person, or just in a relationship with them. The Ace of Swords has come out twice, though, just bear with me. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. There you go. You see the truth for what it is. It's like spirit saying that this karmic soulmate doesn't have an honest bone in their body. They're very sneaky. They're always sneaking around, um, trying to get away with something. They lie a lot. They're not honest because the you know the Ace of Swords is truth and clarity. It's speaking your truth or hearing the truth. Sometimes what what happens is is we try to avoid the truth. You know we avoid trying to you know we we don't want to accept that our partner is who you know we think they are even though we know deep down they they are and um, because we love these people but this is what spirit is saying here so it could be that you tend to attract this karmic soulmate every time because instead of avoiding this person you 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 tend to be drawn to this person so we do have gemini here um so tell me more about the lovers, please, spirit. <clears throat> okay, that wanted to come out. The two of wands. Tell me more about the lovers. Three of pentacles now in reverse. You had the three of pentacles. Ah, okay. This, wow. Spirit is saying here that the choices you make, these choices are following you through every lifetime with this energy here. And with the Three of Pentacles coming out in reverse like that, Spirit is saying you've not learned from past mistakes. You've not learned your lessons. You keep repeating the same old cycle, same cycle, same, you know, it, it's like keeps going around. This, this energy here keeps bringing you bad luck. I'm sorry to say it, Group 1, but we do have karmic soulmates like this that tend to follow us, you know, because the lesson has not been learnt, we've not put a stop to it, you know, so then in our next lifetime, we avoid this person. So this, this mistake keeps happening here with you guys, you keep... It's like this energy finds you again. So what did this energy do in this lifetime? So tell me, please, Spirit, what did this energy, this karmic soulmate do to group one in this lifetime? Let's see if it's the same thing. What did this karmic soulmate do to group one? King of Swords, High Priestess, okay. Gemini Libra Aquarius. Cups, three of swords, 
Nine of Swords. Okay. Broke your heart in this lifetime as well. May have abandoned you again. May have left you for somebody else here. Um, High Priestess is here as well. It's like whoever this um, karmic soulmate is to you, they, they are very um, standoffish, they're like they have their walls up, they're not very loving, they're, they're quite cold and they're full of secrets as well and maybe your intuition was telling you that this person's not right for you but Spirit is saying you didn't listen to your intuition and now you're feeling unfulfilled here, all you was if you were in the relationship and it's it's ended now, we do have the Three of Swords here. So, you're left broken-hearted, feeling abandoned, anxiety, sleepless nights, a lot of worry. What what did they do, Spirit? Come on. Tell me about the Three of Swords and the Nine of Swords. Wow. Okay. They just flew out. So we have the Five of Wands, Four of Swords, Ten of Wands, Wheel of Fortune. Look at that. This energy has literally done the same thing that they did in their previous, in your previous life with you in this life now. So there could have been competition, there could have been a third party. This energy may have had multiple affairs. They may not have been faithful. Also, what I'm seeing here is that they, they brought a lot of um, trouble into the, the relationship. You know, they may have caused trouble on the outside. Um, they may have been very argumentative as well because I've got the Four of Swords here which is you feeling really drained, really um, low, tired all the time. This energy just did not. This energy, guys, brings you burdens, okay? They bring you a lot of trouble. They bring a lot of trouble from outside into your relationship as well. So it, it could be debt. It could be... Um, people getting involved in your relationship or family members this this energy is really not good for you i wonder how you can break this this is karmic this is a karmic soulmate so yeah stress exhaustion worry you know you've got the nine of swords you've got the ten of wands But this could be a turning point for you guys, okay? So maybe this is a positive thing here because I was going to ask what can you do now to break this karmic cycle. With the Wheel of Fortune coming out here, if you guys have broken up with this person, you're not with them, you've learnt your lesson and hopefully it was you that told them to, to, to go away, you know. Hopefully this time round, this is the karmic cycle that's been broken because it was you that finally left this energy instead of this energy leaving you. I hope I made sense there. So now, um, there's a big turning point here is what Spirit is saying. So let's have a look. Um, so tell me how can group one break this uh, karmic cycle? Four of Pentacles and the Empress. You keep coming out as the Queen of Pentacles. That's the third time I've seen the Queen of Pentacles on the back of the deck. You come out as the two most valuable cards in the deck here. So some of you, if you're in this connection, Spirit is saying... Stop being so fearful of change. You need to take your destiny into your hands, okay? You need to break this karmic cycle because this is just going to keep repeating itself. This 
partner of yours and I know it's not nice to hear it if you are with this person doesn't really bring anything into the relationship because where are the cups where are they we don't see no cups we see swords we see wands you know I don't see no love here I just see this person just being nothing but a troublemaker you know um they're not really they're very selfish so why are you fearful of change is what spirit is saying sometimes holding on doesn't doesn't do us any good you are an empress you are a queen of pentacles here spirit is saying is to value yourself respect yourself put yourself on a pedal stool you don't need anybody else to do that i mean come on divine feminine and queen of pentacles you've got the spirit is saying here with the empress you to become the empress as i said this before you have to go through so many things in your life from a from a child to become the empress but what i'm seeing here with what spirit is saying is you are the empress because of the many lifetimes you've gone through with this person here and now it's time to stand up for yourself and to to protect yourself from this person hopefully some of you guys have already ended it with this person and that karmic cycle is finally broken because now you are an empress it's like you've you've leveled up with the queen and the empress here so we do have taurus virgo capricorn as well So yeah, I've... so any more spirit for group one? Judgment, make a decision, wake up is what spirit is saying. And it's like also, I know this sounds um, not very nice, okay, this is your purpose, your life purpose, it's what you've got to go through, but sometimes spirit is saying that to explain it in a nice way um, it's like you're, you're harboring these guilty feelings I feel like this energy here manipulates you into not leaving them I mean, this energy could have left you again and then that karmic cycle starts again because they, they are the ones that, that left you. So here we go again. So then it's just repeating the cycle over and over and over again. I mean, it's like, how do you know? <laughs> it's like you don't know when you go into your next life. Tell me about this judgment your swords yeah this is a wake up call guys I, I'm seeing more some I'm seeing most of you guys okay the energy I'm picking up from you you're still with this energy here spirit is saying this is a wake-up call for you to make a decision here. Why are you holding on? What is holding you back here? What is holding, you know, what have you got to lose here is what Spirit is saying. Because there's a lot of arguments in this connection. There's a lot of trouble. There's, it's just not doing anything for you anymore. Spirit could even be asking you here as well to maybe sit down and think about everything that this energy's done to you, all the problems that they've brought into the relationship. So, anyway, let's get some oracle cards. <coughs> I'm going to check these out because sometimes these can be quite useful. So tell me more about this karmic soulmate. Just looked at them. So what you could both be attracted to when you first meet this person is the sexual chemistry. 
um, this is a divine masculine you know these are energies okay guys so you know we have feminine and masculine in us sometimes I feel like I've got more masculine but anyway <laughs> so you know but spirit is saying this is a divine masculine so this person causes chaos here we go drama queen that is the five of wands that brought, brings just so much chaos into your life instead of peace I mean you've got the ten of wands you've got the five of wands you've got the five of swords you've got the three of swords you've also got um, you have the wheel of fortune in reverse you've got the nine of swords I think I said that but anyway this energy is just chaos and I feel like when the going gets tough this energy runs and leaves you to pick up the pieces so tell me a bit more shock unexpected shock to the system hmm. so we've also got mourning suffering a loss giving yourself time before speed uh, proceeding so it could be that maybe you are in shock some of you because we do have the three of swords maybe this energy did leave you for somebody else or they just left you so like i said the cycle starts again now because the cycle wasn't broken instead of you noticing and recognizing this person for who they were which was the seven of swords you didn't recognize it because i feel like maybe sexual attraction was there and you overlooked all their flaws we tend to do that we ignore those red flags because we're donuts sometimes you didn't see the truth in front of you so anyway let's get some more oracle cards group <clears throat> one place spirit i mean look this like i say to everybody you can throw out what's not yours keep what's yours this could even be somebody that you know you were friends with or a family member you take what resonates because this could still be your story but this person could be a sister or a brother or you know what i mean so we've got, listen to the voice within when it persists, right, there you go. That is the high priestess right there, that that, that inner voice that we, we ignore every time because we feel like maybe we're crazy or no, I know what's best. And twice you had the Ace of, Sword, uh, the Ace of Swords, the, the truth was right in front of your face but we weren't listening, I'm saying we, you weren't listening to that inner voice <coughs> let me get you one more oh that was just on the back of the deck and i shuffled them but anyway it is always okay to ask for guidance when the way is unclear so you know even ask spirit for guidance ask you know friends and family for guidance you know like i said some of you i'm picking up majority of you are still with your partner and you've had an inkling for some time but just haven't had the guts to move on because it is scary starting again um so ask someone for advice you know and what to do let's get a message from your spirit guides if i can shuffle Vulnerability. This is confirmation that you're you are seeking a thread into the unknown. Thread, thread. Unfamiliar terror. Oh, sorry. <laughs> God, one one. Right. Tread into the unknown. Unfamiliar, ter unfamiliar territory. Where decisions are based more on intuition than rationality. There you go. Come on, guys. How much intuition do we need here? Um, don't let fear hold you back or allow a misguided sense that feeling vulnerable is somehow a negative condition. So Spirit wants you to feel vulnerable. Spirit wants you to please listen to the intuition right there, that inner voice. You've got it twice here. So let's get one more from your Spirit Guides. Sorry, my watch just buzzed and it's saying I've got 10 more steps to do this hour. <laughs> Maybe I should just swing my arm around and then I can cheat. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. So let's 
So stay connected. We're all born connected to spirit, often known as the divine source. Yet many of us have a tendency to pull away from the connections as we journey through life in the physical world. Now is an important time to reconnect to source. So spirit really wants, maybe you've become disconnected to source because of, you know, don't get me wrong, I lost my connection to source about five years ago. For, for about five years, actually. I, I was at a very low point in my life. Um, and obviously I had a wake up call and then I reconnected with spirit again and I feel so much better, honestly. So stay connected is what your spirit guides are asking you here. Study. Spirit has its own special way of letting you know that it's time to study again. From time to time, it's important to go back and learn. Whether that's learning old things in a new way or learning something totally new, this is an opportunity to expand your mind. So maybe there is something here that you've not been able to go back to school. Whether you're an adult, I've gone back to adult education. Um, but life has got in the way. This, this energy here, this partner here, this king of swords is has got in the way of of your your passions and you know your life Ugh. right so that's a great one for spirit so we have spiritual growth prioritize the spiritual growth and don't allow this the cares of life to squeeze out your goal to grow spiritually. Okay, spirit really wants you to get in touch with spirituality here. Got quite a few here. The call of the void. There's a candle in your heart ready to be rekindled. All you have to do is acknowledge the void so you can heal properly. So, look. It could even be, guys, that... Okay. That could be part of the karmic cycle as well for you guys and this may be this is what needs to be broken here to, to stop this energy from coming back so for the gut the the ones not the ones still with the partner the ones who have left the partner or the partner has left you it's more left you with that card right there what happens is when somebody hurts us so deeply, we hold on to that grief and pain. No matter whether we've moved on with someone, that is always still niggling in our heart somewhere. In the back of our mind, it'll pop up out of the blue. This is what I feel like this is what Spirit's saying. If you want to break that karmic cycle, you need to heal that little bit, that, that hole in your heart that's been left by this person. And I feel like that could actually break the karmic cycle here as well. Yeah. There you go. Anyway, silence the noise. Noise creates illusions and problems out of nothing. Go deeper into your heart so you may find the truth. And then we've got you were chosen. You were chosen because you are perfect for this mission. Simply shine your light on the road ahead and you will help others see their way. And this makes me laugh actually because I've said it before. Our ancestors choose someone to come into you know go into many lifetimes should i say to break the karmic curse so this could be your ancestors curse that needs to be broken you may be the final link to this curse and this is this right here with this karmic soulmate so you were chosen for this mission but it's just that maybe you just had many lifetimes with this person because you've not learned that lesson yet important mission oh there you go your soul has an important mission to fulfill this lifetime. I just said that. <laughs> Search within and you'll discover your mission. This is your mission, guys. I feel like you need to break that ancestral curse. You know, you guys are there for the job. Um, let's get a question, you know. It could be any old question that you guys want answered. So let's have a look. So think of it, ask it out loud. Not ever. And on the back of the deck, probably not as well. So it's very, very firm in that one. So anyway, my lovelies, I'm going to leave it there. Um, you have a lovely day. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I'd love to have you. Um, so yeah, take care. Much love. 
Hey group two, so if you chose the Ruby Fairy, this is your reading. So let's see who you both were to each other. So we have communal living. So that is like a, hang on, I'm trying to get it out of the glare. Not that you can see that. So that looks like a castle. So you may have lived in a castle with this person. We've got wars and battles. There you go, because I haven't looked at these. So we do have, um, I don't really know much about American history. Um, but it does have the flag there. So you've got war and history there. Um, war and history, war and battles. Um, and ships, okay. Oh, very interesting, group two. So I did say castles. Um, you may have actually been on opposite sides of um, the, the war here in your previous life, okay? Uh, okay? Um, but I'm getting from here, maybe, because I'm picking up two lifetimes here already. But then, it, yeah, why? That's very strange. I'm going to try and explain what I'm seeing here. Oh. So some of you, you know, you may have even been the captain of a ship here, you know, like where would go and fight other countries. Now, I'm seeing opposite sides here. You may have known this person. You may um, have actually fought each other on the battlefield because don't forget in the olden days people you know the the wars would people would go off you know like henry the eighth and what have you and queen elizabeth and all that lot would go off on their ships and attack other countries you know fight with other people it, and it also could be you know if it was an american war with the british that kind of thing you know <laughs> i feel like you were both on opposite sides here so one of you could have actually um, unalived, I've got to be careful what I say, I can't say it properly, unalived the other one. Oh, okay. This is very strange, but interesting. So let's have a look. So Spirit, tell me. Um, actually, no, I'm going to use these ones. So tell me, Spirit, who was this karmic soulmate to group two? straight away in reverse four of swords and the ace of pentacles in reverse and we actually have the six of cups which is someone from the past do you know i know this sounds really really strange to some of you you know but i am really strongly picking this up And this is taboo back in the day. I'm seeing a same-sex couple here that were actually um, in love, but they had to fight each other. Do you, do you get what I mean? I am seeing same-sex here. That's for some of you. You know, I mean, you don't know who you were in your previous life. This could have even been a childhood friend um, that you had to go to war with as well. And I feel like some of you in your previous life may have actually gone into the army or whatever it is. Um, because there was lack of funds, there was no money, you know, back in them days it was very hard, you know, living was very, very hard. And um, it took a lot of courage to do this because, you know, if you have a family to support or what have you, this is what's happened here. This is why you or both of you have gone into the military. And it took a lot of strength to do this, a lot of courage to do this. So who was this karmic soulmate? Tell me more. The lovers, there you go. 
this was a this was a lover. You know, it, it may not have even been a lover. It could have just been, say, someone was higher rank than you. You could have been, a, you know, below this person. But no, I'm seeing two opposite sides here. Tell me about the lovers. Oh, this is a very strange reading. Okay. Three of Cups, the Six of Swords, the Queen of Swords, the Page of Swords, the King of Swords. You work together, okay? You did, you work together or you worked on opposite sides. And I can't say take what resonates because, you know, unless you, you do past life regression, you know, um, you won't know. But this was, a, this was somebody who you were friends with to start with or romantically involved with this person. I am seeing same sex. But what happened was here is that you would go and have a lot of fun with this this energy here. Like I said, this could have been a childhood um, friend of yours, you know, but turned romantic. And what happened was because the war started, you were both on opposite sides. So what happened as well is what I'm seeing here is that... Um, There was a lot of gossip surrounding both of you here with the King and Queen of Swords. You know, a lot of prying eyes. People were spying on you. Um, and you may have had to separate from each other. Or you were separated from each other because of this war. What did this person do, though? Because a karmic soulmate is someone that, that is not, you know, that does something bad. I just hit that bell there and I just heard the the alarm was raised or someone rang the bell on both of you what did this and what did this karmic soulmate do to group two in the previous life what did they do Ace of Cups in reverse, the Two of Pentacles in reverse, and the King of Cups in reverse. Seven of Swords. They caused you a lot of sadness and pain, okay? This is unrequited love. And it could have been that you were you were really in love with this person, but maybe because people started gossiping about it, this energy, this energy I feel like may have used you, you know, they weren't really interested in pursuing it. You couldn't back in them days anyway. I mean, people did, they had sneaky relationships without anybody even knowing, but this energy didn't love you. It is unrequited. This was, this, this this lacked any balance, any um, stability here as well. A poor decision was made here. On your part, you thought this person loved you, but they didn't. And what happened here as well, this energy ended up, this karmic soulmate ended up being very cold and uncaring towards you. It's like they were very deceitful here with the Seven of Swords. They lied. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. I need to get to the bottom of what they actually did. I feel like you got played and it broke your heart. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. Eight of Swords. Mm -hmm. Three of Swords. Now, I, look, with 
the kings and queens and, and that, when they come out in reverse, that can be seen as somebody who is unfaithful. So is the seven of swords, someone who is lying and cheating. So maybe they made a lot of promises to you that we could be together, blah, 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 blah. Used you and then left you for, for someone else, you know, moved on, got married, what have you. And what happened here is you never really got that out of your head here. You know, you it, it stayed with you. And I'm also seeing here, oh my goodness me. I feel like you guys may have been put in prison. You know, I said to you about um, gossip and prying eyes. I feel like what had happened here was they may have made up some sort of story here saying that you came on to them and um, blah, 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 blah. Because I feel like this person was higher rank than you, okay? And what's happened was you were put in prison here. Eight of Swords. Sorry, I was saying that there. I was trying to, I don't know, my mind wandered there. Let's have a look. There's that Ten of Wands again. It was just on the back of the deck. So we have the Queen of Wands, the Two of Swords, the King of Wands, the Devil, Two of Cups, and Death. There you go. The soulmate is literally right next to the devil card. This is a karmic soulmate. I feel like what happened here is that they ended up moving on with a, you know, be, you know, getting married, settling down with either a king of wands or a queen of wands here. This was all about lust you know, control, um, this was a really dark energy that you're dealing with, and as I said, karmic soulmate, it came to an end here, but I'm seeing death, you, I said prison, I've got a funny feeling, and I'm literally getting a really bad headache right now doing your reading, um, you could have even been tortured, you know, in these days, this was, this, if you were called, what was it called in the olden days, um, sodomy isn't it i'm sure it's sodomy if i'm wrong correct me down in the comments down below group two but this is what i'm seeing and it ended in um being unalived So you may have been in the military together, you may have worked on opposite sides but had some sort of sneaky relationship here, but you could have actually both fought on the same side and, you know, had this connection here, but it came out and this King of Cups blamed you for everything. And with the Ten of Wands here, it's, you were left to deal with everything here, you know, the the burden of, you had to carry this burden. You had to um, go it alone. You had to be brave when it come, came to this. We do have the King of Swords and the King of Swords is somebody who is in the military, someone who is higher up in a position. So you were somebody lower down, lower ranking to this person. So let's have a look at who they are now today in this lifetime. God. So Spirit, tell me, who is this karmic soulmate to group two now? Who are they to group two now? Ten of Wands again. Oh my God. Tell me who this is to group two now. Seriously, that many. Five of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, 
Ten of Swords, somebody who's betrayed you. Ten of Pentacles. Tell me about this King of Pentacles. So we have a Taurus Virgo Capricorn here. This is someone I feel like you work with now or there's a lot of pentacles here. Look at this, like seven of pentacles, justice, three of swords again, and two of swords. I don't know if you can see that. It may be out of shot. I do apologize. And we've got the eight of pentacles. You work with this person. This could now be your boss. Okay? Or someone in the workplace that has a higher position than you. But the King of Pentacles is somebody who is a, the owner of a company. You know, the boss. You work with this person. and mm. Because we have the Ace of Pentacles. This is a... A job you know um, Jesus so much going on here this could have been like an office affair or something like that you know maybe there was a bit of flirting um, but it's like you got played again Whoever this King of Pentacles has brought you a lot of problems. There's been arguments. There's been disharmony between both of you. Like you're at loggerheads at times with one another. This King of Pent Pentacles doesn't know boundaries. They tend to overstep those boundaries, even though you've tried to put boundaries in place with this person. This King of Pentacles has actually backstabbed you here. They've betrayed you here. It, they abandoned you. This is what I'm seeing. This betrayal is abandonment. This also could be somebody's, was somebody's partner. Again, you know, we could be married to the King of Pentacles. So you take what resonates here. But what I'm seeing here is this energy abandoned you. Um, didn't want you. And now you're single. You know, you're now, you're now having to put your life back together here. Or you had to put your life back together. It's justice once again. This is something that was done to you that wasn't right. And it keeps repeating the same pattern here. This energy. It's like I'm just seeing that they are a liar. They are someone who... You know, say if you get involved with them, they've already got someone. Or they'll, they'll tell you what you want to hear. And then, you know, they get what they want and they're gone. We've got the Three of Swords. This energy could have left you for somebody else. You know, they may have already had somebody else, but you didn't know about this. And Spirit's saying it's time to balance this. This, You know, we do have justice as well, so it's time to balance the scales now. So we do have Libra. Tell me about the Three of Swords. This is somebody who broke your heart, Okay. Three of Wands in reverse. Why the Three of Wands in reverse? This could, you know, if it is a workplace, this boss could have ended up clipping your wings, you know, um, stopping you from progressing and, you know, going up the ladder in the company. You know, this king of pentacles could have just maybe taken an instant dislike to you or it could have been that maybe if there was flirting and you turned them down this king of pentacles made your life a misery now so i've got the three of wands in reverse so many pentacles five of pentacles 
Eight of Swords, Page of Wands. There's that Eight of Swords again. Literally in your past life, you were the Eight of Swords, you know, imprisonment, being in a mental prison, being depressed, you know, sad, stressed, um, anxiety, being left out in the cold, maybe not being paid the way you should be paid. Mental health is suffering here quite, quite a lot for your group too. You know, I am seeing mainly work here because this was a new opportunity here with the Ace of Pentacles and you were really excited about going into this um, new career. But it's brought you nothing but the Eight of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. So let me have a look. What is the lesson that you need to be learning here? like to break this karmic cycle so what does group two have to do to break the karmic cycle page of cups queen of cups so what does group two have to do to break the karmic Cycle that turn, yep. Hermit. Ten of Swords again. Strength and the Seven of Swords again. Ow. See, the history keeps repeating itself karmic cycle keeps repeating itself it's like the wheel just keeps going around and around and around until it gets broken you know you've come out as a queen of cups you've got involved even though it came out as a king of um pentacles there spirit is saying because you love so hard group two okay when you fall in love you fall in love and it's quick for you guys at times spirit is saying to you here with this karmic soulmate you know what what were they actually offering you they were offering you a fish their promises were empty okay there was nothing really you know it it's all this like i said in your past life to get you into bed or you know get what you want this energy would say everything that you wanted to hear what this energy did is they kept you a secret here they didn't they didn't um they would never had any intention of having it out in the open here that's why i keep saying office affair here it's like you got used again we do have the lovers this is an ultimate betrayal here so i'm picking up that this per person may have already had another partner so what could have happened here is that they played you they played their partner but they betrayed you and not only that is now you're suffering if you are still working with this energy is they're mistreating you now and it's taken a lot of strength and courage here for you to you know maybe walk away but they've betrayed you again in this lifetime getting the answer here so we do have Gemini we do have Leo we do have Virgo we do have Cancer Scorpio Pisces and seven of swords is someone who's being sneaky but it also could be someone who's being avoidant tell me about the seven of swords
This could be spirit telling you to be sneaky, you know? No, oh, there's that three of swords again. Oh my goodness. There's that soulmate again. I'm seeing here, okay, maybe to break the cycle for you guys is that maybe spirit wants you to stop avoiding what is going on here you know maybe you are still involved with this person and they're still giving you all these empty promises here so you know three of swords is a breakup you know an ending of a relationship because this is not your true soulmate maybe you feel like it was your true soulmate there's some oh god come on spirit tell me what does group two have to do to break this cycle Okay, Spirit wants you to let go, let it go, some of you may still be involved with this person, or it could be as well here guys, that if, you know, when this, when this happens, you need to realise that this person is a liar with the Seven of Swords, the Spirit is actually saying there is a truer soulmate out there for you, somebody who that, who actually loves you, who will love you, who is a Prince Charming, so to break this karmic soulmate connection here i'm seeing that the relationship has to come to an end the connection has to come to an end you need to put a stop to this you need to be with your true soulmate here or it's just going to keep repeating the pattern you need to make a decision spirit saying is learn these lessons and learn them now because you have happiness let go this knight of cups here will bring a you know will bring you a lot of healing a lot of happiness and it also could be moving on from the job as well cutting the cord finding a new job let go stop holding on but this is someone in your life right now group two that you're still holding on to because you know it could even be you may have moved on, it may have come to an end, you may have to see this person's face every day, but the hurt and pain is still here, the betrayal, you know, like what they did to you in the in your previous life here, and Spirit is saying to you, if you were to let go, you will heal from this, and then there's a soulmate right here, the Knight of Cups and the Two of Cups here. I'm just saying this will heal the karmic connection it will break the karmic connection but because you're holding on so tight to the pain what they did to you you know that's all you know it's our faults it's our mind you had the eight of swords that's like literally you going over and over how they betrayed you how they did this to you you're not letting it go there's no forgiveness here that's part of breaking a karmic connection as well so anyway, let's get some other messages for you. Oh, so that just fell out. So we do have chemistry, sexual attraction. So that, you know, that could have been how it all started. Tell me more about this karmic soulmate for group two. locked feeling closed in trapped and frustrated by your own actions right and it could be that you're in a contract as well and that's why you cannot get out of this situation right now you have to see this person's face every bloody day and it is so stressful for you you have to see them knowing that they betrayed you No, this may not be a romantic lover. This could have just been a friend, but I'm saying it's more of a romantic thing. Obsession, blocking what you want. Blocking what you want, need to focus elsewhere because you're becoming obsessed with this, is what Spirit's saying. You know, more obsessive thoughts. Clinging, clinging to something because it's familiar. Let go to grow. You know, for some of you, if you're still in this situation, you know, 
spirit is saying that you have to let it go it's becoming an obsession you know the the, the sexual attraction you know the sex could be really really good but because <sighs> like i said earlier about the page of cups you know, for some of you, if you are still with this person and this is still going on, it's like Spirit is saying that this, this energy is just offering you a bunch of nothing, basically. So Spirit is saying, be like your spirit guide. Then you've got, success is what you have. It's what you do with, with what you have. Mm. I think that's an important message. And then you have go within, which we do have the hermit, and that is talking about go within, you know, meditate, spend some um, time on your own, contemplating, thinking about things. Let's get a message from your spirit guides. Let's see if there's any more here. <clears throat> So intuitive nudges, intuition is the language of the soul. We are all born aware with the profound sense of inner knowing. Intuition is one of the greatest gifts we possess. Proset, proset, uh, proset, proset? <laughs> um, which keeps us connected to our higher selves, the universe and our divine spirit. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> um, Maybe that's what's the problem here with you, group two. Maybe your intuition is blocked. Maybe you're just not listening to your intuition. You know, if your intuition's been telling you to get out of this situation or to end things with this King of Pentacles, maybe it's time to start listening. Nature. Time. This, oh God, this is a time to absorb the healing pro properties that nature has to offer. Your mind, body and soul need nourishment, energy, re revitalization and strength. Nature has much to offer, so take this time to connect and spend quality times outdoors. So maybe you guys are just not going out, you're not doing anything, you know. Maybe you're sitting by the phone waiting for this person to call. So, path to mastery. You you are stepping into a new ex expanded consciousness that you will soon master. Okay, that's good. So, maybe you guys are into so maybe meditating into spirituality here. Can't escape your shadow self. Until you make an unconscious consciousness, conscious, it will continue to direct your life. So, there is a shadow self that you need to be working on, group two. Then we've got a bright future ahead. There are no limits to what you can have. Believe in your dreams and success will follow. And that's the sun there. Like I said, there's something very healing and exciting for you guys in the future. But you need to let go of this karmic soulmate. Even if you're not even with this person anymore and you're just still working with them, that is still that karmic soulmate holding on to you and you them and the karmic cycles not being broken. One more. In the making, you are entering a new reality. Open up to new levels of you and where your best self exists. It's your time to shine, so don't hold anything back. You know, we do have the Ace of Pentacles, and that could talk about a new, a new job. Okay, you know, moving on, moving away, doing something different. Like I said, you could be in a, a contract here as well that maybe you're stuck. So let's get a question. So it don't even have to be about this. It can be anything. So think of your question or ask it out loud. So for group two, please, spirit. Not even a little bit. Okay. <laughs> right. 
so my lovely group two i'm gonna leave it there um you have a wonderful day and if you're new here please consider subscribing i'd love to have you so anyway take care guys much love hey group three so if you chose um the aquamarine i can't even say it now um fairy this is your reading so let's see who you both were to each other so we oh unrequited love spirituality and religion Ooh. prosecution and inquisition oh dear I, i'm seeing something here from your past lives like the witches trials um so you you guys could have been into you know spirituality and you know what it was like back then but it was seen as something that was like witchcraft so the person that you may have been in love with group three was into their religion and saw it as oh no this is witchcraft you were prosecuted you were, you know there was inqu inquis inquisition for goodness sake <laughs> and a prosecution so whoever this was, you trusted this person with your spirituality, you opened up to them, but I feel like they may have conned you into opening up to them and that's when you were prosecuted. I am really strongly picking up witches the witches ugh, the witches trials. Um where I I live, uh, we actually have um I've got to be careful cuz you know, I'll put it out there, but we actually have a prison that the witches were sent to before they were executed, literally two two minute walk from where I live, and it's one of the most haunted places. Um, actually, one of the haunted homes in the UK. Very creepy place. Every time I go past it, I don't I don't like the energy of that house. If you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, this is what I'm picking up: witches trials. Let's have a look. So tell me more about this um, karmic soulmate of group freeze, please, spirit. The hermit. Two of swords. So you may have met in private, both of you two, um, and shared information, you know, back and forth about your beliefs and... Um, I feel like you may have had an affair as well you know we do have unrequited love so it was kept secret you know if this energy was somebody who was religious who was maybe in the church this this would have been a big taboo this would have been a no-no so tell me more about this karmic soulmate the queen of swords two of pentacles Knight of Swords. This was a short affair, okay? It was something that was very quick, short, sweet. Look at this. We have the Wheel of Fortune. Karma. Tell me about this Queen of Swords. Six of Cups. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. Bear with me, guys. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, this energy here from your past life, you shared a lot of back and forth with this person. I feel like as well, mm, there may have been an affair here, but it was something very quick. I'm seeing this card like justice, you know, that that picture of justice outside court courthouses and um, buildings and stuff. And I feel like what this energy did to you was lured you in with an affair, or maybe not in there. Maybe it never even turned out physical, but you fell in love. But this wasn't 
the case here this person was tricking you into opening up and sharing information with them you know you would meet privately you would share share with them it may have been that you may have even worked with this person you know you may have been around the church or whatever with this person but they saw something that you may have kept hidden you know because witchcraft medicine that kind of thing it wasn't even witchcraft it was just people that were into like herbal medicine and things like that but it was seen as oh, oh you know being evil devil worshipping that kind of thing so they wanted the truth because the queen of swords is a truth seeker so i feel like you you they gained your trust you opened up and this is when they were like that's it so tell me about this prosecution and um yeah tell me what did they do to group three about the prosecution three of cups page of wands tell me more about the prose prosecution please spirit the chariot judgment there we go wasn't just you that was prosecuted there was a group of you you know look at this three of cups it's a group of people a group of friends and these are people that you would study with you know you would get together you would like a little gathering and you would talk about your herbs and your medicines and your plants and this that the other but then you know just judgment here this is someone that judged you guys for something they didn't understand this is someone as well this is not a very this soul karmic soulmate is quite evil really because they were very forceful in you know trying to get the information out you guys get trying to get you guys to admit to witchcraft because that's that's actually what happened these women literally just admitted it because they were being tortured even though they weren't practicing any witchcraft so you were judged for something as well as a group of friends here for for this person's ego so let's have a look who they are to you in this lifetime now. So I feel like you were maybe um, unalived. Well, no, most witches were unalived. Anyway, so tell me, who is this karmic soulmate to group three now? The king of wands. Who is this? Who's the karmic soulmate now to group three? Oh God, calm down. Well, I'll take those ones that turn over. So we have the three of swords. It's come out in every reading. King of pentacles, two of wands and death. So we do have Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. We have the three of cups. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Scorpio. Get with me. Tell me about the Three of Cups. This could be a friend or you know like a, a relative but a cousin that got a chariot now in reverse 
this is someone who is very forceful in their opinions um they're very like it's like they force themselves into your life into your business here um they lack no no control right hang on talking about the king of wands this could be the same person i feel like this is the same person somebody who is very like um uh, describing their personality someone who walks in a room and they're very loud and it's like you know look at me i'm here um very confident strong friendly you know that kind of person very good looking as well and then you have the other side that this energy could be somebody that is a business owner this can be your partner this can be your your spouse the provider but anyway, talking about the King of Wands, but we have the Three of Swords right in the middle there. So this is a broken heart or a broken relationship. The Eight of Swords, Ten of Cups, Nine of Cups. This is a partner, someone you may have been married to. It can be a family member as well, guys. It can be. So you take what resonates. So what did they do to group three in this lifetime spirit? God, they're flying out. Queen of Pentacles. So this is your partner or an ex-partner because we do have the three of swords. Two of swords again, the wheel of fortune again, the five of wands and the moon. This, this is like history repeating itself. It's literally, you've got the same cards near enough as what you got in your previous life here. This is a wheel that keeps the, keeps on turning, okay? And the karmic soulmate and you keep on repeating the same old patterns over and over and over again. And it's like this energy here is is here to cause a lot of disruption in your life, a lot of problems, you know, illusions, lies, deceit. And this is what this energy did to you in in the previous life. They lied to you, they they sucked you in, they made you trust them, you fell in love, and then boom, they betrayed you. I do want to clarify the three of swords. Tell me about the three of swords. many cards god <laughs> Talk about the three swords oh. hmm Talk about the three swords so this could be heartbreak divorce depression hermit justice in reverse and the two of pentacles so you're you're divorced from this person now or you could be going through a divorce there could be a legal battle going on with, with both of you at the moment it also could be just dishonesty it can be um This energy did something to you here they betrayed you they could have cheated they could have left you for somebody else they could have backstabbed you but they did something behind your back here that that is like unforgivable and it's like with justice when it's upright it can be like you know receiving an apology or righting your wrongs or you know that kind of thing but where it's in reverse this is like the the pattern just keeps the the uh, the cycle keeps going with you both with this energy doing it to you not you to them
it's like I'm just seeing this energy sharing themselves with other people. You know, the Five of Wands also could be like a rival in the connection. Not nice energy at all. So what can group three do to break this karmic cycle spirit? What can they do to break the karmic cycle? we have the moon, page of pentacles, the star and the ace of pentacles and the page of cups. I feel like what Spirit is saying here with these cards here is accepting that this energy here was an illusion, okay? They were full of lies, full of secrets. And what's happening here is you're, you, you're burying these emotions here. It's like you're not really letting go of how you feel about this person. You know, you were very loyal to them. You was, you you when you were in it you were in it okay um but it's like you're holding on to this pain that you're not you're not really letting it go and also it's spirit is saying to you you need to face that you know if you're not with this person anymore if you're with this person you need to face that they are not honest with you you can see there's problems here and move on basically is what spirit is saying take a chance move into a new beginning with the ace of pentacles you know, that's starting again, that's starting from scratch, but it's going to be really successful, you know, you're, you're going to thrive doing this on your own and starting over. We do have the star, we do have the Ace of Pentacles. I feel like what it is here from you guys, okay, is you're waiting for an apology from this karmic soulmate. You want a genuine apology. But what Spirit is saying here is that you know, you may get an apology, but but Spirit is saying you need to forgive yourself. Not, Don't wait around for an apology from this person. Don't wait around for any remorse from this person. You need to forgive yourself for putting yourself in a position like this. We all make mistakes. And I feel like that is what is going on here with you, Group 3. You're holding on to this pain and not letting it go there's so much you still want to know about what happened with both of you here like why why did they lie to you did they cheat on me maybe you're not sure about that um was it all just a load of load of lies yes it was we can see that here and it was in your previous life as well so there's so many questions that are going around and around and around and you're not letting it go and this is what's holding you to this karmic soulmate here this connection is not being broken because of you still holding on you still waiting for an apology you not being willing to go all right you've started again yeah but you're not embracing this second chance that that spirit is giving you fully you're not letting yourself heal spirit wants you to heal fully emotionally spiritually physically that way then the karmic cycle will be broken with this energy here, you know, instead of this person following you through lifetimes here and betraying you like this. So sometimes we don't need the actual person to be there for the cycle to be broken. It's just energetically in our thoughts. Letting go is real. Maybe try and, group three, try and do some cord cutting, okay? Also, you can do, um, oh, what's that one? Oh, God, I'm brain, brain fart right now. Um, oh, I forgot what it's called. It's where you go pick up your, <clears throat> oh, your fragments of your energy that's been left behind when you're hurt, 
I need to try and remember. Oh, sorry, guys. Hopefully, you'll know what I'm on about. It's a meditation that you do that um, you pick up these fragments that have been left behind from people that um, have hurt you. So, say the day you found out this person cheated on you, there's a part of your energy. Oh, I think it's energy something. If you guys want to know, just comment in the comment comments down below and I'll find out what it is and I'll let you know what meditation it is so basically if you found out that this person had cheated on you can you imagine the devastation that you felt that day you know or this person said I'm leaving you that is leaving part of ourselves behind so we have to go and collect it to put ourselves back together that's what I feel like you guys may need to do so anyway so tell me more about this karmic soulmate for group Free spirit, please. We have synchronicity. The universe is giving you signs. Pay attention. Okay. So listen to the signs. Ascension. Spiritual awakening. Going within. Empowering yourself. So some of you could be ascending. You could also be uh, going for a spiritual awakening. Sometimes what happens is, is we awaken when something really bad happens to us. So we have tragic, forbidden love, wanting what you can't have. So, you know, you could still be in love with this person. This could be the same scenario as your previous life that it was unrequited. Realisation, figuring things out. So hopefully you've come into like an epiphany moment. Escape, taking vacation, going on an adventure. Spirit saying, escape, go into nature, go on a vacation, spend time on your own. Interview, talk, get on the same page, enlist help if needed. So you may need to talk to a therapist or someone. Crush, shattered, broken, feeling alone. This is exactly what they've done to you. Hamster wheel, daily hustle, surviving. So, you know, maybe you feel like at the moment you are on a hamster wheel. So let's get some messages for you. If a group free, please spread. Be like your spirit guides. Okay, so spirit wants you to be like them. Forgiving. You know, spirit guides are complicated. <laughs> Carry the torch for others to see. Wake up the world. So it could... What the hell was that? Okay, something fell downstairs. I'll soon find out in a minute. Um, so Spirit wants you to maybe shine the light, lead the way as an example to others. And then heal the past to fit and fix tomorrow. There you go. That's this is what I was saying. There's the past here is holding you back from breaking this soul, karmic soulmate connection. So let's get a message from your spirit guides. Okay. A father's love. A father's love for his son or daughter never dies. The strength gained from such love is often unquantifiable. In that it can be tapped into any time for whatever reason. Whether your father is still here or has passed, a father's love is one of the strongest bonds any of us has ever experienced. So, you know, it could be talk to your father if your father is alive. It could be that your spirit guide is your father, one of your spirit guides. Talk to your father if they're in spirit. So, Paul, people come into your life for many different reasons. Some you learn from and then and then that and then <laughs> sorry. Some you learn from and then and then they move on while others return and often because you need to learn more from those individuals look at that it, oh, oh my god others remain beside you throughout your entire life and this is the problem this is what this spirit is saying here others return hang on they're moving well, return and because you need to learn more hence why you keep having these um, lifetimes with this karmic soulmate
you know when you've been talking for ages it's like when you do a reading it's just like your mouth goes dry and it's just like you, you start slipping over your words so for group three please spirit okay you want to come out happy ending Though it may not seem like it now, you will accomplish for more, far more than you could have ever imagined. Your story will have a happy ending. That's a beautiful card. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, group three. A bright future ahead. There, is, there are no limits to what you can have. Believe in your dreams and success will follow. That's beautiful. Two cards there. Um, can't escape your shadow self until you make the unconscious conscious to continue to conscious it will continue to direct your life yes you need to work on your shadow self you do and that will help break this karmic soul, soulmate connection that you've got going on here so ask a question or think of one and see what spirit says it don't even have to be about this about anything So Spirit is saying, sure. Okay, so the answer is, yeah. Anyway, group three, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you for staying and watching. Um, and if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I'd love to have you. Um, so anyway, guys, have a lovely day. Much love.